It's day 94. We left Bangalore about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. We were escorted out of uh, the city by Dr. Poonamala. Helen Upperton, who's uh, an old acquaintance and who is an Olympic silver medalist, has now become an enthusiastic supporter of MSF and also wanted to come out and bike with me. Oh my God! <laughs> this is amazing. And this is day 94 that I've joined him. And I'm here in India cycling with Uni for MSF or Doctors Without Borders. I thought maybe there was a way that I could help. So I started a fundraising and awareness campaign in Canada. And I'm trying to raise $14,600, which is equivalent to the same number of pills it takes to cure somebody with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, which is a, a big problem here in India and in a few other countries around the world. I can't imagine a better way to, to see a country than to ride a bike across it. Even the very first day that we got on the bikes, I was like, oh yeah, there's all these people that came out to support Uni and the ride and help raise awareness for what he's doing on this trip. And then we set off onto the main road and it's just the most crazy chaotic traffic I've ever seen in my life. And everybody honks, they honk and honk and honk and honk. I don't understand the honking, they honk for no reason at all. But along the way, it was also, we were entering Tamil Nadu. It was also start of Pongal. It was the uh, first of many days of the Pongal Festival. So a lot of the, almost all the houses were decorated with uh, columns. People were in a celebratory mood. Uh, we were stopped and we were given sugarcane by villagers. Thank you. They're very friendly and helpful in this village. We stopped and watched comedy competition and we totally disrupted the entire match. But there's so much to see and do and we stopped and, and eat food at little stands on the side of the road and I drove this little bull cart. Hi guys! But I did get to feed a monkey a candy and I was really nervous about it but he ate the candy. And there's all these boulders that look like somebody put them there and they just look like you should climb on top of them. So I tried a couple times, I got pretty scratched up and fell in some brambly bushes a few times. And then we found an amazing boulder to climb, so I got to stand on top. And it was a beautiful view and a nice break from the riding. Yeah, gotta go. And hopefully I'll have a chance to come back to India again. I, I like it here. Early morning, a very clinical 65 kilometers from Velo to Kanchipuram on the hybrid. So we are nine people, and believe it or not, it is 108 rupees. 108 rupees? Yeah, for nine people. So this is probably the cheapest breakfast we've had like all through the tour. For less than 25 cents, I've had five at least and one more. Impressive. Chennai itself, I thought, was reasonably clean. The traffic was actually much better than what I experienced in Bangalore. I spend most of the day in Sankran Netralaya, which is the premier institute for eye care, not just in India, perhaps South Asia, and it's very well known across the world. So that, it was great to spend some time with Dr. Badrinath, who started this hospital, but also had the vision to kind of make it what it is today. For me, one motivation to come here today was to, to understand your philosophy about innovation and how uh, taking care for out of hospitals into rural areas. In medicine, as you know, we have the preventive aspects, curative aspects of it. Both the preventive as well as the curative aspects require very definitely new things to be brought in. As the science is progressing, we need to bring in new things. We believe strongly that uh, patients are in very remote areas, unapproachable areas, and these people will have to be Catter too, and we have developed a mobile operation theatre which goes to the villages, tribal areas, perform the surgery on an ambulatory basis. They don't need hospitalization. They don't have to come to the city. They don't have to come to the hospital. We perform the operations in their doorsteps. I think there is much we can learn from these experiences and see how it can be adapted for other parts of the world. 
So today is day 100. Pim de Graaf joined me on the right. Who I've known for a long time, was president of the Dutch section of Mensans Sans Frontiers. So it's nice to see him in India and nice that he could take some time to come off and bike with me as well. On day 101, I cycled from Mahabalipuram to Pondicherry, joined by Pim de Graaf, Hannah Nolan, a lawyer, and Martin Sloat, who is now the executive director of MSF India. So I set off with the three Dutch contingent, cycled out of Mahabalipuram. It was a great ride. We took some of the back roads. Around lunchtime, we ended up in Alamparai Fort. At the fort, we were also joined by Alan Fradag, old friend from MSF as well. It was an all MSF day. All the co-riders had long history with MSF. I think we sort of counted that together, all of us had more than 100 years of experience working for Mental Health Frontiers. So it was a great day. 